guys, Green back in another video here today. And yeah, before we start to this video, I want to show you something. Yeah, let's just keep the cap on. So I shaved my head yesterday. Why? Just because it got too big and too long my hair, so I shaved it off. It was easier than trying to deal with a big ball of hair on my head. So yeah. Plus, hey, who's gonna actually really see me? Plus, I'm not embarrassed by it. As you as well saw the last video, ne keep needs up there and everything. So, yeah. so, there has been some remodeling done in here and <laughs> even to my head. Yeah, so yeah, it's getting pretty cold in North Africa. I'd never ever wear long pants, really. And that's what I'm still rocking t shirts. So, yeah. so, it is getting hot in South Africa now. So, yeah. I'm out recording today. I'm getting lazy. But anyway, so yeah. So how's everybody going with the whole coronavirus lockdown? I wish it would get over now quicker. So yeah. So what I want to do today is do a little bit of remodeling around in the tap room, play around. I want to move the rods into that corner behind me. So move the rods from there to there. And then also like just kind of neaten it up a little bit. I'm recording very skew. It might help if I actually hold the camera properly. So yeah, so that's what I just wanted to do in today's video and I thought, hey, let's bring you guys along, so let's jump into today's video. Okay, so I'm going to move the tackle boxes first and you cannot see because the camera's up way too high and I don't know where else to put it. That is falling out a window, so yeah. What I need to do is just quickly move the boxes down here, so yeah. So let me quickly move those things out the way. So I'm going to push them forward, then I can put the rods in the place, then I'll try to load down the camera and find a proper angle to put the camera so then we can show you me moving the other things. Well, I might do that right now. So yeah, so let's just jump back and do what we need to do. So yeah, guys, I've had to drop the camera down really low now, so yeah, I wish I had a tripod. Uh, I've got a tripod, but it doesn't have a quick plate in it, so yeah, that's my problem. So I don't have a quick release plate for my tripod. So yeah, so that's my problem I've got, so I cannot actually have a phone on my tripod, so I'm having to improvise by using things to hold it up in place and the whole work. So yeah, so let's jump into it. So you guys can still see is the tackle box, I think, because if I hold it on too low, you get other things in the camera, which like you guys don't really want to see. It's just like lines and blurs and everything, so we're just going to have to roll with the punches, I suppose. So yeah, so the salt water tackle box. Moving a bit forward. Um, as you guys know, my favorite tackle box, the Bass Tackle Box, which I I'm looking to upgrade, and there's spider webs on it. So yeah, that's which is not a good thing. But you can see that I haven't gone fishing in forever, that's why I've got spider webs. Uh, trace kit, trace one with extra line. Yeah, I really need a tackle box. Any sponsor out there would like to come back, I'll really promote your products pretty much. Quite a bit, as like you guys can hear, I do talk quite a bit about branding, not a lot, but a fair amount about it on the channel. So, any party out there who would like to sponsor me some tackle boxes of really good brands, yeah, I'll be glad for it. Um, cop and lines, don't put on the chair, don't stir up, and of course, the last but not least, well, it's not the last but last, need some more. But the stuff there is not in my, uh, the one for the sinkers, but just a little bit on the chain. And you can kind of see this stuff. Okay, so I'll come through and I'll show you the rods as I go. Okay, so in my hands I've got Shimano, Shimano Beast Master Surf Pro, which my uncle gave me. I love this. It's a conventional reel rod. It's got a medium and a heavy rod tip. Good rod. Um, let's go with this rod. Uh, pit reel rod. Uh, it, was, it is a Trajon Shimano. I don't even know where the hell I'm standing. Trajon Shimano pit reel. It's still got the original, like the old fashioned. Ah, loads and everything. Great rod. Yeah, that's pretty good. So the reason why I wanted to do this is so that I can kind of free up more corners and have that just for my rods. But even though it's always nice to still have my rods in the background. 
Right, so then I've got an, now I've got a two piece rod, fairly dirty, as I can say. It is a uh, Ultra Ten. No, it's just the things. So as you can see, that's the brand, and this is the things. I've kind of got a wall in my way. It's two piece rod, cop rod, or barbell, or whatever else you want to use it for. Good rod. Really good rod. Um, next up is one of my favorite rods is the Shimano as you saw in the last video. If you haven't checked that video out, there'll be a card somewhere up there. Last time I pointed to the card, I completely pointed incorrectly. Put that there for now. And by the way, I don't have any rod stands anything in here, so yeah. Cool. Another rod is a. It's kind of hard to see, even though you've got a wall in your way. You can see, sensation. I'm gonna destroy a rod by doing that. So yeah, let's just get it down. Okay, let's move over. I'll put another pit reel. Uh, by the way, that pit rod over there is a one piece, so yeah. So I kind of, I can set up like that. Might be fine. And I've got a pit reel rod as well. I also was given by this with my, by my other uncle the two pit reel rods. Great rods as well. I uh, never went fishing with them. So, yeah. Um, cool, I've got my first ever rod I ever owned. It's a Pioneer. It's a Pioneer Weekend. Where is it? Pioneer Weekend. It's kind of backwards two piece my first ever fishing rod ever good rod it's, it's seen better days but it still fishes like a bomb so can't complain about that we've got now a stealer or however you want to say that stealer rod is real as well my, un my uncle who gave me the shimano with it as well as the other tackle box, this my salt water tackle box. Gave me this rod too. Great rod and real. Um now we go to Oakum. You can see Oakum fine car. There's a where the heck's the stats? There's a stats on the rod. Oh, let's get all in. It's a two piece as well. A really good rod. That was my brother's actual first ever fishing rod who gave it to me. So, so that was my brother's first fishing rod. Then my uncle who gave me the two pit reels gave me this big rod over here, the sensation rod, and who my brother then gave it to me because he's got no point or no other idea in fishing. And then that carp rod and then the Shimano, my dad gave it to me. Um, I've got a lot of hand-me-downs. Like, my first ever rod was mine. Then I've got a Shimano, and this rod over here has been repurposed so many times. It says bait caster, but then the piece has been broken off. The Shimano, there's a bit of this thing. Everything's been rubbed off. As you can see, I've had to redo all the eyes in this rod. My uncle gave, he gave, gave me the Shimano, and the Beastmaster also gave me this rod. Let's not destroy this rod, please. Let's not do that. It will be a terrible idea. So, that's the other rod. And we're down to one more rod. That is... Eight. Yeah, I've just gone quiet. I'm trying to count how many rods I've got that I can think of on top of my head. That's the eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven rods. And of course, last but not least, my actual my all time favourite is the Pioneer Raptor Baitcaster. Still in this stack and everything. Let's pick drop down there. Guys, the reason I'm doing it like this, I can get full easy access. Some of these rods do not fit like up in the wall, it's like they have to be slanted that way. So yeah, now I've got. Let's grab the cat. Now I've got that whole empty wall there, and I had it there. I just realised, you can see over here, there's another big gap, which the Shimano Beastmaster is covering up. This wall is actually pretty hot. Yeah, so now I'm gonna move all the tackle boxes from there, from the ground into there. So. Let's quickly do that. Okay guys, um, Moe even in the camera, the chair's in the way, everything's in the damn way. I've got the, got 
my tackle box full of hooks and that down there. I've got my one with the where the heck is my mind gone? With all my reels in down there. So let's start putting everything back. So I'm gonna just try and fit them in this back corner along this back wall here. That's what I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing. I really need to get shelves up in here. After quarantine, that's a video idea that's gonna be coming out is me getting shelves up in here. Like a bait peg wall. Um, the rods are done where I've wanted we put them. I wanna get a table up in here so we will actually not be sitting rod right on this wall no more. Or where we normally face when we record we'll be facing outwards or however we decide to set this thing up. It's starting to come together nicely the way I, I really wanted this tackle room, but at the same time it's not. Like it's kind of getting to that point where I want it, but you know. Anyway, so let's start moving everything back up and over. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep on talking while I'm doing this, so there's not no awkward silence like I already did. Um, let's put the saltwater tackle box right up here in the corner. So that's right there in the corner. I've got books and everything. I'm gonna. I actually need to think properly how I'm going to set this thing out, so let's turn it this way. Yeah, let's go on to that way. I'm going to have the all-time favorite strike em bass tackle box. I need bigger tackle box. I need more tackle boxes right next to that box. Uh, let's move this chat away. That's a good idea. Okay, chairs out the way now. Uh, I've got this random trace and random off cut line tackle box i've got the one all my dips and everything in for carp and carp traces down there like i said i need tackle boxes um the one just loaded full of suckers stick it here in the middle got the lines i want to get something like when you do i want to get something up here like the lines can sit on or so underneath the table or something. Uh, just a place for the lines randomly somewhere. I want to move this keep net somewhere, but don't know where. Like, I'm probably going to unhang it and put it on the floor. Probably I've got the bait bear box there. I'm going to, I'm going to move, no, let's move this thing over. All the way over, like that. I'll see, maybe I can find another one of those things that my keep net's on. Put that up at the keep net. Uh, let's put... Um, let's keep the reels kind of there where they were originally. Take this tackle box, move this one down and under there. Like as well, I'm trying to think as well where the light hits in this room majority of the day. Where everything would sit and bake. Like I know, like over there and then so start swinging around type of a thing. So yeah, so I'm just also trying to keep that in mind. Where we're also want to put everything. I might put the lures where the camera's sitting at the moment, but first let's pull this thing off the top here. You're getting you get to see the proof side of me. So yeah, uh, pull this out of the roof. Sorry for the noise. Great, it's a knot. It's a king. The rope's been kinked. There we go. Let's just roll up the rope nice and neatly. And yeah. Like, I gotta really take off the rope because then at least I can always just dump it out in the water deep. Deeper water, especially when you're fishing shallow, it's always nice to have your rope around. And also, plus, you never know when you're gonna be needing the rope. So. Put that over there in that corner. I might put them, the reels over there, and I've got. I kind of get open room in here. Which I'm liking, I'm liking this. Put the reels back here. But then the problem is they kind of get sun. That's the one big problem. It's crashing down, so yeah. So, that all in this wall back there. Like I said, I'm gonna be getting a table up here, well, that's what I want to get. I've got those tackle boxes over there, just excuse those. Keep nets over there. Land net, not keep net, keep nets back on the floor there. Rods there. Because the rods take up that much space. Or take up. 
This protector of mine is hot, okay? Guys, hot in here. That's why it's pretty red. It's hot inside of here. But yet again, it's my favorite room out of everywhere to go. It's crap in summer to be up in here. That's all what I can say. The phone's going somewhere. It's crap in here to be in here during summer, but winter, that's when it's going to be the best time. Like, especially in winter when, like, the times when, like, I do not want to be out fishing. You know, like in South Africa, summer it's too hot to go out, winter it's too cold to go out, spring is... Spring, and autumn's autumn, like I forgot the entire thing. Like I know in summer it's too hot to do anything, winter it's too cold to do anything, autumn it's just too autumn-y. <laughs> I, I cannot remember that proper saying, but it's something like that. So winter it's going to be nice to be up in here. And I see that we're almost running out of time in this video. I'll be back inside. Uh, like I said, we're going to run out of time in the video. Uh, memory is a problem for me. Uh, sorry, just excuse the background for me. And that's it. So let's just quickly finish off today's video. So thank you guys for tuning in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, make sure you smash the red subscribe button. Ring the notification bell and like this video. And like always, see you in the next video. Peace.